same. All right. This is so, the theater. Yeah, so we're in the theater here at Mission Point. Um, this is another part of the whole tour. It's actually funded by by the mayor, by the mayor of Harvey. Um, he was a college student back then because Mission Point itself was a college from 1966 to 1970. And they only had one graduating class. Well, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> they, this guy Harvey, he had a girlfriend when he was here at the college. And um, his girlfriend had ejected him when he had proposed to her. Um, so basically, he went behind this cliff that's behind the hotel. And supposedly, he when he went behind back behind this cliff, he had shown himself like three times, and he's supposed to haunt the theater here, which we're in now. He's supposed to haunt this, and um, it's not the stage. And for a lot of you who have seen um, Somewhere in Time, uh, this was actually the aisle way where Christopher, Christopher yeah. was walking down. And which one's his seat then? Um, Okay, Let's see if we can find it here. Right here? This one here. That seat? Wow, here it is. Yeah, so if you can read yeah, it. You gotta get that shot of that. Yeah, so if you guys can read it, this was the chair that Christopher Reeve sat in when he was filming Somewhere in Time. That is so cool. Awesome. Yeah, so there's that seat. And also, um, with like a lot of the history with here at Mission Point, um, there is a seat, and I believe this is Rotary. I don't know. Okay, this is the row that we were just. The in. last row. Okay. Yeah, this row. All right. So, um, yeah, it's actually it's, if like you can see where this chunk is missing. Oh yeah. Uh, um, the guy Harvey, who was the college student here then, uh, he actually chipped off this here, so that this was his chair that he sat in when he was attending the college at the time. So he used to sit there all the yeah, time he or something? Here, yeah, he sat here like all the time. And like I said, he always, like, he was more of a flirt with the women than he was with the guys because he was a jokester with the guys. <laughs> and then he was a flirt with the women. <laughs> he loved the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> and then they got this on the screen here. Mackinac Carts. Carts. And also, there's also, Mackinac there's Arts. also a couple of other spirits, too, that haunt the the area too. Um, one of them is a little girl by the name of Lucy. Um, she is she haunts more of the balcony. Well, area. let's get a shot of the balcony up there if we yeah, can get so a light there up there. There are seats up there on the top there. Um, if y'all can. You want to get closer up to it? No. Okay. But yeah, um, there's a little girl by the name of Lucy. Um, she is the one that haunts more of the balcony than she does down here in the main area. And there's also another spirit. Um, I, don't, I can't remember his name, but he he's the one that haunts more of the theater or the soundstage with Harvey. So cool. I'm probably getting like a weird. Are you getting a weird vibe? Yeah. I just can't believe no one else is in here right now. This is awesome. Yeah, so that's a little bit of the history with um, Mission Point and and, and somewhere in time and everything, yeah. and man, it's so cool. Yeah. This is like the main spot I wanted to yeah. see, yeah, <laughs> out of everything. Yeah, and some of the cool things, too, is like with Mission Point, they had, um, they had a library. Well, this is back when I was in college back then. They also had like a library on the campus and everything, and they had like 113 students, I think. I have to look it up again. Um, but I, I believe it was like 113 students that had attended the college at the time when I was in operation. And like I said, it was only like one graduating class they had mm. so. all right and actually here's a little bit of a funny thing <laughs> um, actually me and my parents we were on one of the haunted tours and with one of the tour guys that we had um we were in in here and we we're you know just doing an evp session if a lot of you don't know what evp stands for it's um elect electronic voice phenomena and we all just you know just sitting in the front row here you know just asking questions and it was just me and my parents, and there was another couple, and plus our tour guide. And so we were just asking questions, and five out of six of us have heard 
something coming up from the balcony. <laughs> it, it sounded like something I was dragging. It was like, it was something like that, something dragging. It sounded like and, that? Yeah, so, <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, I just darted and I went up the stairs. Nobody was not even out there. Oh, and wow. It sounded like, because there, there were speakers on both sides of the, on the balcony there. Yeah. And it kind of sounded like somebody had, like, a table up there, but, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> was even here. It was just a six, and nobody was not even thinking that that's when it happened. <laughs> I can see why you, you know, were going up the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's wow. Interesting. So, yeah, that, that happened, actually did happen to us. And then there was another time where it was just me and my parents who were walking out the main door, and them doors are not really, how can I say it? Um, those doors are not really not hard to get to shut or anything oh um so as we were leaving i was walking ahead of my parents and basically one of the doors had shut and none of neither one of us had closed had not even closed it or anything. you were on not your way out it. and it shut it, or something yeah oh that's now, none of us had touched it or anything yeah it was just weird. wow so we were kind of thinking oh, well, like harvey so yeah and like i said it's harvey who haunts the theater and the sound stage <laughs> He's probably here right now. <laughs> Harvey. Hello. <laughs> Anybody here? 